Hi, this is Julie, and welcome back to another Taking Flight video. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Art Texture stamp set released in June. It's a rubber cling stamp set that's easy to use with acrylic blocks, and it can be used in a variety of projects. I've stamped it here because I don't have a label on the other side so that you get a closer look at what the stamps can provide for you. We've got the alternating little circles. We have some, it's kind of a reverse punchinella. We have, uh, it looks like a little bit like screen here. I like the little textured edges. We have uh, almost a sponge-like material here. Then, of course, we have Punchinella that I mentioned before, reverse and regular. We have a circle with an ink or paint blob. And then we have some speckle or uh, just dotted texture. And I really like this texture set because I can use it in so many different projects and in so many different ways. So I'm going to keep this so I can refer to I'm going to remove the stamps over a little and show you some projects I've made recently. Here are two tags very similar to one another. And this way you can kind of see a little bit of difference even though one uh, they're, they've got started with the same background they have the same background elements but then they have two different focal images. So both of these tags were sprayed ink and blotted dry and then you can see various elements I've used. Here you can see the screen and on this tag the screen is here but what I actually did was I took the stamp in my hand and I've curved it and I can just hit certain areas with it so it's down here and it has a very subtle appearance especially of course if you use it with a light ink but it just gives a little something to it. So curve your stamps and you can you won't get that rough exact square um, image you can get just little pieces of it turn it and just stamp it. So I really like this it's very easy to bend these rubber stamps so of course I wouldn't use that with a block at that time. Then I've got uh, Punchinella here and here reverse Punchinella here Okay. I've got some sponging and I did that here in this corner where um, sometimes when you use an ink blending tool and you're and you're doing the little motion to create the ink you get a very smooth texture I wanted this texture to be a little more rough so when I stamped this stamp I stamped it into the ink and then onto the tag repeatedly so that I could get that same over and over and over but because I because the dots are so close together it gives a more uh, it's not solid but a more clustered appearance a darker appearance against the lighter color behind it but then these dots which I use the same ink I used with this texture stamp because I wanted to get a little more speckled effect okay then you see the circle with the ink dot here and here and again over here. So they have the same colors, they've used the same stamps, but for the most part the texture in the background looks the same. Then on this one I stamped my focal image directly onto the background using a Distress Ink. On this one I stamped the image directly to the background and then again on another sheet of uh, paper and colored her in and added her with foam dimensionals. So this is our mermaid stamp. This is one of our bird stamps from the bird lyric set. And we have this uh, sentiment from our hanging star set. Another tag or another project that I've done, I'm going to show you another one before I show you a tag, is this one. And this one I may have to bring it a little closer there's a very faint white dot and I'm, I'm hoping the camera can pick it up but what it is is the speckled this stamp here and I've used it with white craft ink you could do that with craft paint but I have to say if you do anything with craft paint using rubber stamps or any stamps um, you can do that and I think it gives a good texture and a good um, look to things 
but you want to uh, get it washed as soon as you can before it gets dried on where you can't uh, it gets very difficult to remove it once it's dried on but anyway I stamped this over and over to give uh, the appearance of snow so in some light you can really see the snow in the background now, there's several different stamp sets on this project we've got the trees back here for from the um, Howling for You set, we have a wolf in that set too that goes along with it. And it's stamped onto the paper in the background in gray. It's stamped again in, with brown uh, chalk ink on text scrapbook paper. And I've cut the trees out and added them, uh, glued them back in place. I took a piece of, um, this is dimensional, so there's two uh, sheets of paper uh, together. Um, this paper is from Studio Calico. I stamped my window from uh, from the window set and uh, colored it in and then I cut out the actual inside of the window to reveal the outside of the house. And the window set also has a birdhouse and a cardinal and I've um, added that also with foam dimensional. I thought this would uh, could be easily added to a card for um, it could be a Christmas card and you could add a sentiment here um, something to give it more of a holiday feature. It doesn't have to be Christmas um, but I do like the the way that the trees look like you're looking outside and it's evening so the ground isn't green um, it could be like a first snowfall or it could be the way the light is hitting the snow and it gives it a light blue and the texture of the of the background paper is a nice addition as well so that's another good project I have another um, two more tags to show you this tag is using our coffee one of our coffee sets this one's called play with your coffee and I've stamped it twice and cut it out or stamped them and cut them out and added the coffee colors here and everything's been distressed with uh, brown ink but let's talk about the background which has the uh, fun circle stamp here and here I've made it to resemble a coffee ring that you might see the the coffee beans are also in the coffee set and so is the sentiment sending you warm thoughts this background is some uh, different pieces of paper glued to a tag I've added paint to kind of mute the background and I've sprayed it with some mists and um, inked it with um, more distress ink to give it a more of a, a coffee brown appearance so but um, I love the dual um, use of this circle for the coffee sets and there's um, for this project then uh, here's another tag that I've made and it's been on our blog recently and um, I want to show you and I'm going to lift this a little more hopefully this is in camera the images here were the small circles in pink here the large green circle you can see it kind of peeking through here you have the blue for the reverse punchinella and the speckles right here are from this stamp in green all of the of the stamping I did on this tag was done with acrylic craft paint. Uh, again, I did a similar technique. I, I took different pieces of scrapbook paper, glued it to a tag, took white paint and covered the whole thing to kind of mute the background, but then I used the art texture stamps to stamp in and add dimension and, and interest to my background. The other stamps featured in this tag are uh, from the Melange Women uh, we have sentiments and sayings and then the window set was used to make the frame and the sea melange for the ship so I, I like this tag a lot it reminds me of persuasion from Jane Austen and as if she's waiting for her captain to return from the sea and next I'm going to show you a new project I'll make for you on film with the art texture stamps